Hello everybody. It has been a long time since I did a video and I thought I would just sit down and while I do some work, I have to like prep something that I'll show you in a second. Um, I would just talk to you. So I have to prep, it's called a scoot game. It's a, uh, I don't exactly know how I would describe it, uh, but in all scoot activities, there are cards that are placed throughout the room. So this one, like one of the things we're working on is time. And so there's four cards on here, but like for instance, number two, this would be throughout the room and they would have, they have like a chart, like a recording sheet. And each time they need to go to another one, you say scoot. I usually just like say switch. And they have to go through all of them. There's 24 in this activity, but usually there's, I'd say anywhere from 10 to like 25-ish. This is a Lime LaCroix, by the way, if you didn't know. I haven't had, we have like a whole thing of sparkling water in the fridge and in the closet. I was going to say couch. And I haven't been drinking it lately. I think because I've been at work and I don't have a fridge like in my room, it's harder to drink. But I've just been like craving carbonation today. Uh, but anyway, um, hmm. Am I gonna actually cut these out? Sure, whatever, while I'm talking to you. By the way, I'm not even gonna edit this. It's just gonna be like however long it ends up being. So sorry if this is like really annoying to you. I can be cutting all this out, but whatever. So it's a good review activity. Um, and at planning today, cause today was a half day. So the kids left at like 11.45 and then we had planning for about an hour starting at one and we were just talking about like end of year what we're doing kind of like from here on out and some of the classes were like further behind in math or needed extra review days so i'm pushing my stuff back just a day i, I don't think i can push it any longer than that but this will be a good activity for them to do and they're always really engaged and really like it for those of you who don't know, I feel like most of you do. Um, I'm a second grade teacher. So that's that. And that's why I've been so busy lately because I literally have no time ever to do anything. As you can see, you know, I'm prepping activities for school. Like this is like my life all the time. This week has been pretty good. I haven't had a lot of like prep stuff, but it's a lot of work. And since we had like a lot of time off, we were done with planning at like 1.50. I had, I spent some time like prepping all of next week's stuff, getting my copies in my folders to put in the like assistant mailbox for them. But yeah, it's been, it's so busy. Like anyone who thinks teachers have it easy because we get to leave at three o'clock. That's cute. That's a real funny joke. Because I've just, I've been working all night when I get home. There's just so much you have to constantly do. But I'm not going to complain about that. I'm going to complain about something else that just like freaked me out so bad. So, literally just sounded like someone fell down the stairs. And I'm like shaking a little bit. So it's 5.20, right? And Joe is not home yet. He hasn't texted me today saying that it's going to be a super long day, but he hasn't texted me saying otherwise. But usually he would be home like around-ish now if he's not home already. And so I just took a shower and I had gotten out of the shower and heard like a banging on the door. And I thought, oh, it must be... It must be Joe trying to get in, but since I've put the little latch thing over the door, he can't get in. So I had literally just like dried off, you know, totally naked, 
and was like, oh, I need to hurry up and go get the door. Like, who knows how long he's been standing there. And so I just throw on my robe, nothing on underneath. And I go, and I've been wearing my glasses, so I didn't even have my glasses on. I peep through the peephole, and I can see someone standing there, but, like, nothing. Like, I can't really tell who's there. And I open up the door, and it's a man selling something. And I was just like, <laughs> number one, I hate, like, solicitor people. And he was just a little, a little weird, like, not really, but he just gave me like a slightly weird vibe and then I'm standing there with my freaking robe on like butt naked underneath thinking like oh my god like I had I didn't even tie my robe I, I was just like holding it shut I'm like oh my god like if one one wrong move or if I don't know if he he tries to decide to be a creeper this is going to be really bad or really quick so that freaked me out but All is well. He was selling Reese's cups, which is kind of funny because yesterday I was laying in bed and I must have seen like a picture or something or someone must have mentioned Reese's cups in a video or on Instagram or something and I craved one so bad. And that is not a candy that is like one of my favorites. Like I like them decently, but that would not ever be my top cho choice. And then I come out, and Joe's dad had brought some things over because he had had a package delivered to his parents' house. And what do I see in the bag? Freaking Reese's eggs. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding. That is so awesome. And then that guy just selling Reese's cups. I'm like, they are all around me. Oh, you know what? I'm doing this, and I was – I'm – I want to laminate them, but I also don't want to cut them out again. But I guess it's not that bad. <clears throat> and yes, this is all paid for by myself. <laughs> Yay. Um, but yeah, gosh, it's been so long since I've done a video. It's really crazy. I don't feel like weird or anything. Like it's it doesn't feel strange to me. Um, by the way, if none of you have ever done laminating, most of you probably have not. Um, this is my little laminator guy. He always sits on our kitchen table. It's nice, right? And you get these little pouches. I always buy the Scotch brand ones, and I buy the five milliliter, millimeter, because they're thicker and more durable. And so you just like open them up I can be competent and put your things inside and I always try to like Tetris them like crazy because it's expensive it's like $12 I think for a hundred laminating sheets and let me tell you they go quick so I'm just gonna oh, they must have gone the other way I know they fit together. It doesn't make sense. My kids are going to be really excited about this. They love, like, activities. I mean, duh, who doesn't? But they also love these math mysteries that I bought. One of the teachers on my team, she had purchased some. I'm going to turn this on. I hope it's not going to be really loud. No, it's not plugged in. But she had bought some of them, and I gave them to my kids, and they absolutely loved them so when teachers pay teachers was having a sale I bought the whole pack of like whatever it was the whole bundle like there were 35 of them I think it was like 70 bucks and they do that for their partner like math activity every day and they're loving it so it was well spent and it's nice because it's just a I just get the PDF or the Google folder actually. So it'll be on my Google Drive forever. It's one of those nice resources. It's a lot of paper to print out and I hate that part of it, but it's just 
one of those things, you know. But, um, yeah. I'd love to let me know how you have been doing lately since we haven't talked in a while. <laughs> um, it's funny that, like, I didn't, and this is probably going to be so, like, such a stupid thing to say, but, like, I never realized or expected that I would be as busy as I am. Like, the fact that Jessica Braun was a full-time teacher and did YouTube pretty much full-time as well, I don't understand how, how she did it, how she got everything done, and, like, had any sort of personal life. It just, it's insane to me. Because the last thing I want to do on the weekend is like put on makeup. I just want my skin to breathe. I want to chill. But also like I don't have free time really to be doing a whole lot. It's like I get one day to really chill. And Joe and I will either hang out or we will do something with like my family or his family and then the, then on Sunday it's all like prep work for for the week I'm getting things ready I'm making copies I'm doing well I'm not making copies here but I'm getting things ready to be copied making resources finding resources doing things like laminating, stuff like this, um, grading stuff. It's like, it's crazy. On top of like household things, cleaning and buying all the groceries and doing meal prep. It's like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I just think back to when I didn't have a job over the summer and how nice that was <laughs> and how much I'm looking forward to spring break. I think I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try to dedicate some time to filming videos while I'm on spring break. But I think Joe and I are going to be looking at houses over spring break, or that's what I've told him I want to do. So we'll see if he sets that up because he's the one with the realtor. So that's that. Something exciting that I'll probably show this weekend, I'm sure I'll be back to my parents' house, is they're getting a new puppy tomorrow. And luckily I work really close to my parents' house. So I, uh, I'm gonna go over and see her tomorrow. I'm so excited. She's gonna be so cute. And Charlie's gonna have, have a sister and it's Charlie's birthday tomorrow. She's going to be three, so it's a big day. I feel like there was something else I was going to say. I don't know. My brain is so fried. There's so much going on. And we still have, like, almost a month. No, I think it's just about a month until spring break. Yeah. Mid-April. And because of hurricane days, we have not had any teacher work days nothing since like the end of January I want to say it's rough <laughs> we need a break our kids need a break so it's like ugh, just dragging on but it's been it's been pretty good overall super super busy but I'm feeling good I'm not feeling and this is really crazy for me I don't feel stressed and I don't know how that's the case. Like if it's maybe just because like I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be kind of. Or like I feel just good. Or maybe it's just the job security of it. Like trying to find a job is so stressful and getting through college is stressful. But now that I like have a job and I feel pretty confident in it, I'm not... I don't know, I just don't feel stressed right now. Which is a really good thing. I haven't been like that in a while. So I am, I think, just going to wrap this up because I could ramble on for all of eternity and the laminator is taking a while. But, oh, I kind of want you to see one of the finished ones, though. Like, I know if I was watching, I would want to see it. 
I also need to start the oven. I'm going to make up some sweet potatoes or just, uh, oh, it's ready. Okay. So when the blue light comes on, you, this is going to be awkward, but you feed it through. Let me make sure I'm going to do it the right way. Like this. And it'll grab it and then it'll come out the other side. But I'm going to do some sweet potatoes in the oven and if you've ever done any sort of potatoes, you know it takes about a hundred years. So if I want to eat any time in the near future, I gotta get those ready. Oh, it looks so good. Although, well, I'm not gonna complain. These were brought to planning for us, but I would always do something like this on colored paper. I just like things to be really pretty, <laughs> which is unnecessary and costs more money because I live like when, it, uh, I mean, the amount of ink I go through at home, it's so absurd. But anyway, this is what they look like. Nice. And I just kind of, is that upside down? No, it just is in the viewfinder. I let it cool down a little bit and then you just cut them really easy. The only thing that's bad about, or that's, unfortunate about this is that it's really sharp on the edge when you cut it because it is hard plastic my kids are always like <laughs> they said today because we did an activity with laminated cards one of my girls was like can you cut the edges and i was like no i don't have enough i don't have that much time <laughs> because that would take forever i used to like round all the edges but it just it, I'm, I, I'm like screw that so yeah that is it. I hope you have been having a fantastic week and the past few months. And I will see you in my next vlog. Probably shortly because I think I'm going to vlog this weekend. So I will see you then. Bye everyone.